Hello, my name is Ren, and welcome to All Walks of Film. So, in preparation for the 2018 Oscars, I've been giving my predictions for each category. The category covered in this video is Best Animated Short. So, the short animated films nominated are Dear Basketball, Garden Party, Lou, Negative Space, and Revolting Rhymes. Now, since the actual presentation offered more shorts, I'm actually going to cover all of them, and then I'm going to mention one snub so that you get a full idea of what the experience of actually watching these. And I'll put a link below where you can actually watch the shorts. Now, every year, there's some that are impossible to see unless you actually watch the feature. So I will let you know which ones those are in the description. All right, so first up, we have Dear Basketball, which is a hand-drawn animated film, which is a love letter from Kobe Bryant to himself and to basketball. When I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be about a kid who idolizes Kobe Bryant, but I wasn't expecting the kid to be himself. While emulating the rough sketch style is charming, the actual quality of the animation was inconsistent and rather unimpressive. The device of the love letter to basketball as its own entity doesn't function well as a plot device or poetry. Athletes oftentimes don't make the best artists. The score was nice by John Williams, but I'm pretty sure Kobe Bryant just dropped some dough to give the film more flair. Negative Space was a sweet stop motion animated film about a young boy's relationship with his father and packing. It's about as weird as it sounds, but trust me, the film used visual textures of stop-motion animation to evoke sense memory to describe an emotionally distant relationship. The Peanut character designs were not particularly appealing, but the construction and animation were admirable. It's pretty clever how the dialogue was in all voiceover, providing an easy way to dub the film without really losing anything. The film was incredibly imaginative for such a simple subject, and all of the elements in the story culminate into a heartbreaking ending. Lou was a sweet, short, 3D animated film made by Disney and Pixar about a being that is made out of stolen objects. It's essentially Toy Story, but with a collection of toys making up one being rather than a collection of toys having their own secret society. The film follows a bully who steals toys just to be a jerk, and then this being manifests itself into the items in The Lost and Found. His name is Lou, taken from the missing letters of The Lost and Found box. Lou serves as a sort of Jiminy Cricket character who shows the bully that giving back and making amends feels much better than hoarding stolen goods. While the message is positive and well done, and the bully is well developed and sympathetic, the animation is a significant downgrade from Piper, and looks pretty much like every other film of theirs that's come out. The actual character of Lou is not well developed or defined. It also suffers from the same problem that many other short films have. It tries to eliminate dialogue to the point of feeling stilted and awkward. And having the main character only speak in baby noises is one of those elements that gives animated films a bad rap. Revolting Rhymes is based on a Roald Dahl work. It's the longest of the shorts, and while several elements were interesting, it really dragged. And this is just the first part. While there was a lot of work with textures such as clothes and sets were really interesting and decent, the character designs and anatomy left something to be desired. I'm really getting sick and tired of this new trend of generic, indistinguishable animation that seemed to pop up shortly after 3D animation became a thing. This isn't just a 3D animation problem. 2D animation has this issue as well. I like the idea of telling the other side of common fairy tales, but that idea really needed more direction. I like the criticism of the banking system, I like the twist on Little Red Riding Hood becoming a homicidal badass, but the story was told from the wolf's perspective, and several of the victims of Little Red Riding Hood's killing spree were near and dear to him. It felt like there could have been more payoff or grief to his story. 
It also doesn't really make sense for him to tell the story that way, since he's an unreliable narrator. Now, this is only one part of the story, so many of these issues may resolve themselves in the second part. But since this film was nominated for Best Animated Short, I have to judge it on the way that it was presented, as its own piece. Also, if it's going to be long in one part, with the second part most likely edging out the total runtime to feature length, why not present it that way so the Academy doesn't do something egregious again, like nominate Boss Baby for Best Animated Feature Film? Garden Party was my favorite. It was refreshing because all of the designs were photorealistic and gorgeous. On aesthetics alone, the animation stood out from the other nominees. It's also the most adult and amusing of the bunch. A part of me was worried that its dark reveal and social criticism might deter some voters, and it sort of reminded me of Frog and Toad, but with a morbid twist. So, if you actually watch this collection as a feature, there's something called Petite Interlude, and these little bits padded out the shorts, extending the time to feature length, and these shorts were so stupid and ugly. I, I really wish they didn't include them. Next up, we have Highly Commended. Now, these were actually shorts that were included in the feature, but were not nominated. First up, we have Lost Property Office. Besides Garden Party, this was another major standout. The stop-motion film had call-outs to Wallace and Gromit's A Grand Day Out, and the aesthetics were reminiscent of Dave McKean's illustrations. Its tone was pessimistically optimistic, and went to some surprisingly dark and self-deprecating places, while delivering on a Guillermo del Toro-style ending that can be read as uplifting or tragic. Weeds was a cute film about dreamers. The short follows a sunflower trying to get to fresh soil across the driveway. The animation rendering and quality, while not on par with the photorealism of Garden Party, was very good. If there's any drawback to the film, I'd say it's the non-dialogue voice acting that I mentioned before. This is a problem that I've had with animated shorts, and I think it hurts the medium as a whole. Making baby sounds in order to keep the audience engaged instead of being quieter or actually providing dialogue, I think is a mistake that a lot of younger animators make because they're worried that their audience might be bored. To this, I would say watch the opening sequences of Pixar's best films. Up and WALL-E are great examples on how not to do this. Or just watch Garden Party. I love Garden Party. Achu is a little snot-nosed dragon who is unable to breathe fire like his older siblings' parents. I'm not really sure what they are. So, uh, I thought the animation quality itself was good, but I thought the designs felt a little too much like a lesser DreamWorks film and left something to be desired. It was also the most basic film, aiming for an audience of about 4 to 6. The short also included twerking, which... If you saw my take on Ferdinand, you know this is a particular trend in children's animation that I find inappropriate and cringeworthy. Overall, I like the message about being intuitive when you might not have the natural talent for something. It was okay, but I certainly understand why it was excluded from the other nominations. And finally, I have to end with a snub in a heartbeat. This was my favorite short of 2017. It's a shame it wasn't nominated out of the film selected. As you can tell from my tone of pretty much all the animated shorts outside of Garden Party, I was underwhelmed. Each animated short nominated certainly had its merits, but I really can only think of one reason why In a Heartbeat wasn't nominated. I'm pretty sure most of you have guessed it already. It portrays child gay attraction with the possibility of a relationship. It's pretty safe, too. The animation is on par with any of the other films and actually has great character designs, unlike most of the picks they chose. So if you click on the link on the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see the film. So don't take my word for it. It's great, it's sweet, and it was my pick to win before I discovered that it wasn't even nominated. So out of all the picks we do have, I'm really rooting for Garden Party. However, I won't be surprised if Deer Basketball or Lou wins instead, with Deer Basketball having the edge because people like Kobe Bryant and he just retired this year. 
What did you think of the Oscar shorts? Was there another short, like In a Heartbeat from 2017, that you liked that wasn't even nominated or featured? Post a link in the comments below. Let's try to keep it to YouTube and Vimeo, folks. Thanks for watching, and keep holding your heads high.